Hi guys, my name is Michał Tech Test Tutorials and today I would like to show you the newest Lenovo L540 uh, laptop. So it's the more affordable uh, laptop in Lenovo's business line. Uh, the specs are shown in subtitles on the screen, but let's cover some basic connectivity here. We've got mini display port, VGA port, uh, free USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0, gigabit Ethernet, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Kensington lock, optical mechanical drive, card reader, headphone jack, uh, microphone, and there are also speakers. The speakers are not front-facing, so they are uh, placed on the bottom of this laptop, which cause some problems. As you might expect, it, the sound is not very loud. Here you can take a look how it stacks to its predecessor. Again, they were able to fit the numpad aside from the whole uh, full keyboard. Also a bigger touchpad, which is great. The old one was terrible with an odd texture. So uh, I love this feature very much. And now let's take a look uh, at some storage solution. And the way uh, I always do it is I buy the cheapest laptop with mechanical drive and then I install SSD. And this is recommended for more experienced user. So I shown here how how you swap the drive in here, which is very very simple. You just need a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you remove the bottom of this laptop, just four screws, and you are good to go. But you have to do a full copy of all the data, data that are stored on the mechanical drive to SSD. There are a couple ways to do it. Uh, you can use Acronis, True Image, you can use Clonzilla, you can uh, use any other software, but you need to know what you are doing and if you never have done that before, that might cause some, uh, some problems. Uh, but removing the mechanical drive is very very easy. You just need a standard Phillips screwdriver and you need to remove this uh, frame that is shown on the screen. All the mechanical drive is in aluminum and a frame. Uh, this frame we will need uh, to apply on our new SSD and, uh, and that's it. We won't need this aluminum uh, all around. Uh, the SSD drive got his own uh, enclosure, uh, so so we just have to peel this off, remove it, or you can keep it for uh, warranty if you will have to do the reinstallation or you will have to uh, return your laptop uh, for a warranty reasons. Uh, you just need to install this frame and you are good to go. The SSD uh, from Adata are great, they are inexpensive, very very fast, uh, cheap, I guess now these days you may, you may say they are cheap and uh, very very easy uh, upgrade. Also you can uh, see here that the whole cooling solution, the fan, is very easy accessible so when you will, anytime you will need to clean this it's very easy. Also the RAM installation is, uh, is easy, uh, you just pop in, slide in this, uh, this RAM module and you are good to go. Uh, RAM up upgrade can be done by uh, any even uh, unexperienced user will, uh, will be able to do it. Now let's take a look at the keyboard. We've got, as I said, the numpad. Uh, actuation point is uh, about two or three millimeters, three maybe. So it's very, very nice to write. It's quiet. Uh, I didn't have any problems with using this keyboard. Uh, it's great. Now let's take a look at the display. Uh, as I said, full HD 1080p matte display. Viewing angles are nice. So most of the time you will be sitting just in front, but in case you are watching a movie with your family, uh, viewing angles are okay. The only problem uh, 
color reproduction. This is not an IPS panel. The colors are not super uh, popping out of the screen. Uh, it's okay, it's fine, but uh, it's not for somebody who have to be very very precise with colors. Uh, you've got almost zero reflection, so you can work outside, you can have window behind you, and that's that's not a problem, so that's great. Touchpad is also very decent, a lot of real estate for your fingers, actuation point uh, for about four millimeters I would say. It felt also a little bit flimsy uh, as I pressed this so but it, that was something that I could get used to. Uh, nice gesture support, uh, a lot of real estate. It could be a little bit bigger. I know some some people said that it's too big. For me it could be even uh, even bigger but the touchpad is great feature. You won't need your mouse all the time. You can just work with that and it's uh, overall it's a great uh, touchpad experience. So so big plus for Lenovo for for this update. Now can I recommend buying this laptop? I have to tell you about one issue that I had and it was about the Wi-Fi. So straight out of box the Wi-Fi it was impossible to use it. It was blind for every network. Uh, the only network that it saw was one in my iPhone. Uh, just a couple centim centimeters from the laptop so that was terrible. I've updated the drivers and it was better so it saw, saw all the networks uh, all around but it wasn't performing very well so it wasn't very fast it interrupted the connection once or twice so not a great feature, I don't know, maybe they will update the drivers again and there will be some uh, some improvements, but now I have to say I had problems with Wi-Fi. Uh, the battery life was great, I was easy, I was able to easy squeeze five uh, hours. I was a little bit afraid at the moment because that was only six cell battery, but it turned out that uh, Haswell processor does its job in terms of power consumption, so it's great. All in all, I've had a lot of fun using this laptop. I can recommend it. Uh, the only thing you have to you have to consider is uh, look at the forums, uh, at some updates of the drivers when the people were right. Okay, it the Wi-Fi works now fine. You can go and buy this laptop. Mm, for myself, I think I will wait uh, for the T uh, series. So mostly because of this lamp. I know it's damp, but I like the backlight uh, keyboard and the lamp. And uh, and that's that's it, guys. If you like this video, uh, please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. And it encourages me to produce more videos like this. And thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.